Well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my painting the license plates part two. So the first video is just kind of giving you an idea of what to expect if you try to paint these. So just that you know what I'm using, these were sandblasted down all the way down to bare metal. The back was done with the rusty primer, not because it was rusty, just because I just just got it. It was new and just wanted to use it. And then the fronts with that, about two coats. Now we're gonna ready we're ready to paint them and we need to scuff this or sand it. We're just gonna use a Scotch-Brite and some Comet and uh, get them ready to paint. Okay, so we're using this because it gets in the contours. Don't use too much pressure. You don't want to take it off of the top right here. It's gonna, ha if it happens, it, a little bit's fine, but do that real good. So the reason I use bleach soap on everything is it, it forms a, a mild acid in the water and kind of etches the top a little bit so you do not have to wax and grease remove. So as soon as these things dry, they're going to be ready to paint. Now the problem with Rust-Oleum paint is you have to let it dry 24 hours to recoat. So we may only put one heavy coat on this. You've got to shake this up for like three or four minutes. So you need it to be flat on the table because we're going to put a heavy coat. If you try to paint this thing upright and put a heavy coat, you're going to get runs and you're going to have to start over. So when you're spraying your plate, just remember it needs to be flat on the table and you're going to keep this perpendicular to the project at all times. Do not angle this paint. You need to be able to walk all the way around it when you spray. This is the paint I use. It's better to use the primer and paint in one, but they did not have it in antique white. That's the color I'm using to simulate kind of an old looking plate. Now we're gonna let that dry for 24 hours. We didn't do any body work on them. We just straightened them the best and painted them. And once the letters are painted, they'll look fine. So this is oil base. We got our oil base paint pens. We got like a rag and we're gonna need some mineral spirits in case we mess up to clean this off as fast as we can. So there's another video in here where I just go over different ways, what I think is going to work and what is not going to work. We decided on the paint pens and now we're going to try to do these and put them on my car, whether they look good or not. Uh, just so you see somebody trying to do them and give you any ideas on how you want to do yours. Okay, so we got a fine tip and a chisel tip. So the problem with doing license plates is it, when you think about this, you think that these are true raised letters. They're not truly raised, meaning that there's no edge that you can just paint up to, you're gonna to have to kind of create that line. And that's what's so hard about painting license plates. So when you do raised lettering, see how easy it is to get that corner straight. You just go up to the line like that. But on this one, we have to kind of create that little edge. We're not just going straight off. We're kind of creating our little edge as we go straight off and that's what makes the license plate is super difficult and if you do it with a paintbrush it's almost like you just instantly go too far or there's really not that much control we're using this because we have a little more control so we're going to do what's hard on this plate first is the little letters because there is somewhat of a raised part on these but when you get on those curvy letters there really isn't on the edges these are even worse you pretty much have to create what is what the nine on your own so let's get started see how easy or hard this is and if i mess it up or not it really doesn't matter if you mess it up a little bit from 10 feet away or five on five or six or whatever on your car you won't notice any imperfections we're kind of feeling out how far we need to go to the edge first The easiest letter and that was not too easy see when you go too far you just got to kind of fatten the letter up the best you can you see I went too much on the inside we're gonna try to fatten it up just a little bit you need to get you some mineral spirits 
and then kind of mix this up and make a puddle of wet paint right here. This is gonna make it so much easier. I just discovered this. Not too much, but just keep a puddle of wet paint right here because it wants to start drying up real quick. That nine looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Okay, just always clean this tip in mineral spirits when you're done with it. All right, so let's talk about what went wrong. Okay, and there's no, and I am not by any means trying to say that, oh, I do a perfect job because it did not come out perfect. That's not what this video is about. This video is about trying to give you an idea on how to paint your plates. And you can see from uh, a foot and a half away how that looks. It looks freaking good. Now let's look at what went wrong. When we get up closer, you can see, like, and that's pretty much what's gonna happen if you try to paint it by hand, but you're not gonna get those crisp lines like that. It's real easy to mess up when you paint it by hand. But the reason that came out like that is because the paint was starting to dry. See how that was starting to dry and it gets real messy like that. And then when we figured out our puddle over here, it starts getting a little bit cleaner. And then of course we figured our puddle out up there where we're mixing it with the thinner. That's very critical that you do that. I, I had no idea. I haven't painted stuff like this in a long time. We don't really have time to let this dry, but these will flatten out a little bit better. And what I will do in the future is, if anything, just kind of, you know, rub them down with something and then go over them with another pin or just leave it like that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we did get marks like that, but hopefully those will flatten out. You see how that one's starting to flatten out. I just want to show you this. I don't do no smoke and mirrors videos. I'll show you exactly what's going on. This is six inches from the camera, a foot from the camera about a foot and a half from the camera and you see how it all just disappears so now that i know to thin the paint out this one should come out a little bit better now since the other one didn't come out that good we're gonna put it on the front of the car but you can already see i'm two and a half feet from the front and it looks perfect so i just really want to give you an idea how to get your classic license plates painted it is a little bit hard to do but you see the results it's beautiful i love it so let's take a look at what they looked like when I first bought them for $20 on eBay. And this is the final result. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.